Hey guys, T2 here. Um, I was just watching this YouTuber uh, girl that was making, she makes some videos about minimalism and like how to save money and like how th certain things are scams. And she was talking about like when she was younger, she didn't know what the price of food was like supposed to be. And like her mom sent her to the grocery store to buy lemons. She came back with two lemons and her mom asked her how much she paid for them. She said $4 and her mom freaked out. So, it got me thinking about some other stuff I was wanting to make a video about anyway. Because I've noticed, like, as I get older, I figured out, like, a, one of the biggest problems with the world. I don't know how to fix it. But, like, one of the biggest problems, like, with inflation and the prices of everything going up, is that younger generations coming up, they start life with prices as they are now which is actually like way too high and then they get used to it and they think that's how it's supposed to be so like when I was growing up and the price of bread was like a dollar for a loaf of bread which that seemed cheap for you get so many slices of bread for a dollar you used to be able to now I don't even know what it is maybe a dollar eighty nine two dollars or something um the, the price of gas when I was when I got my driver's license, it was like a dollar nine unleaded, I think, a dollar twenty six for premium. But then, like you see, old magazines, you'll see it used to be like eighty nine cents or sixty nine cents a gallon of gas, which that seems really cheap too. Because like, the price of orange juice has always been, it used to be like three thirty nine, like three dollars or something for. So, is gas more rare than orange juice? I mean, I guess you gotta pluck oranges and you gotta juice them and gas just kind of comes out of a pipe but then it gets refined but it's like you'd think gas would be more rare than orange juice because oranges are renewable I don't know anyway the problem is that younger generations like they're paying like eight dollars for a cup of coffee now and it's just like yeah that's that's normal for a price of a cup of coffee and it's not but like as the next generation comes along they're gonna come in brand new and it's gonna go up to like twelve dollars or fifteen dollars for a cup of coffee and everywhere oh yeah that, that seems normal you know, you work fifteen dollar minimum wage, which probably will be by then. Is like, yes, you work for an hour and pay for a cup of coffee. That makes sense, but it's not. It doesn't make any sense. Like coffee couldn't shouldn't cost that much. Um. So anyway, not just with the prices of things, but the fact that everybody comes into the world completely lacking knowledge. <laughs> so as I get older. I keep hearing like people in their 20s keep bringing up things that I've known about for 20 years but of course that makes sense because I was probably 25 when I learned about it and they're just now learning about it like I keep hearing like people talking about the Antikythera mechanism like oh did you know there's this like computer they found in a shipwreck in Greece and it's like an ancient computer and it's like maybe this was it like, yeah I've known about that for fucking decades what are you talking about who hasn't heard of that there's like so many things like that I keep hearing about over and over and over again like people are surprised like they keep learning about these things like yeah of course like I I'm operating on the assumption that people already know all the things that I know but they're not reading the same books I'm reading they're not watching the same TV shows or listening to the same podcast or however I get all my knowledge but it just keeps accumulating over the years and I don't really forget much I have a really good memory it's like most people are just they keep like new generations are coming along and they're becoming adults and they're learning stuff for the first time and it's like I wish there was a way to just like download everything we know now into the, the babies so that they have knowledge when they come in so that we're all learning new stuff together and it's not like we're every, every like every year I guess every 10 years every 30 years I don't know whatever a generation is it's like the whole new class coming up they're starting over Everything you learn, when you die is just gone, I guess. There's not like a fast way. Plus, the teachers are getting worse. And I just learned this thing today. People are starting to complain about Gen Z. And I guess the newer generation is called Generation Alpha. Like the older Generation Alphas. Which is, I guess, maybe 10 to 13 year olds now. And like the Gen Z adults. Are Gen Z adults already? Are they like 18? Apparently they can't read. People are complaining that the new kids are not able to read good. <laughs> well, they're not able to read well. 
they you know, they're bad at math too, and they just can't like summarize paragraphs. So like, how the fuck do you not summarize a paragraph? You just read it and you just explain what it says in a short version. Like, uh, they don't they don't know what big words are. I mean. It should be pretty fucking basic. Like, if you live in a country, you at least learn the one language of the country you live in. How hard is it to learn your own language? But, like, how can we expect somebody to learn a second language or a third language if they don't know their fucking first language? So, I don't know. Maybe it's because there's so many immigrants. Because, like, I talked to him like, from Kurdistan, and, like, he knows English pretty good. But he's still, like, it's like talking to a child sometimes. <laughs> like I'm, I'm teaching him stuff and I'm showing him like geometry the other day because I really like geometry and I like explaining it and I'm like he was telling me I should be a, I guess I should go to Dubai and like be a teacher or like make so much money in Saudi Arabia <laughs> I'm like I ain't going over there getting my head cut off but <laughs> it would be cool and I'm thinking maybe I should do like an online teaching thing maybe a series of videos but I know there's already like online college courses and YouTube videos and stuff like that you can do but I feel like I should, I don't, I don't, can you get one of those like pads that the little, the the VTubers do where they draw on Twitch, like something like that, where I could like do geometry lessons and have it stream through a camera or something. Is that a thing? Is there a way to make money doing this? I don't know. I just want to do it for the hell of it. But I also like, I don't know. It seems cool. I could do maybe teach like languages. I like teaching like how words evolved and where the, the roots of the words come from so it makes sense and it's like you can if somebody is like learning English but they know a little bit like enough to like get you in there where you can understand what they're talking about then you can explain things to them it's like what's one thing I learned about learning languages is once you know a little bit like enough to talk to somebody then they can explain the, the nuances of the big words and like explain what things are and it's like it's way easier to learn a language once you can like have a little bit of dialogue with each other Anyway, yeah, the prices of things. Another thing uh, about cars. Um, did I mention cars? Oh, she was talking about her car. She drives like a shitty car. And people that drive fancy cars. Also, like, people that buy name brand shit and you walk around with, like, Supreme or Nike or Gap or whatever on your shirt. It's like you're a walking billboard for the company and they should be paying you, not you paying them extra money to advertise their stuff, which that makes a lot of sense. And apparently, like, Louis Vuitton and all these, like, really fancy brands, there's, like, two tiers of them. So there's the tier that has all their logos plastered everywhere, so you look like a walking billboard. And then there's, like, another tier for actual rich people that just good quality stuff. And the other stuff, all the, like, if it has Gucci everywhere, <laughs> it's probably not good quality. I don't know about that. It seems to be good quality, but... Uh, yeah, people that are actually rich don't wear the crap that everybody, like, pretending that they're rich, or they want everybody to think that they're rich wears. That's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, well, with cars, though, I was, talk I was thinking about, like, my car is, like, you're going to turn 20 next year. 20-year-old car. I bought it for, like, $4,000 or something with a rebuilt title. I got a sweet deal on it. It just lasted forever, and there's this thing called planned obsolescence where companies make things to break because if you sell something and it never needs to be replaced then companies don't make any money and it makes you wonder like what kind of stuff could we have right now if we actually like had companies competing to make the best products and sell them at the lowest prices oh my god think of the cars we could have we would have hydrogen powered cars you know they've invented that several times and killed the guys that invented it, <laughs> it keeps on getting invented and the guys that invented it keep getting killed or they go missing or something <laughs> happens to them because we gotta get every inch of fucking oil out of the ground, turn it into gas for all the fossil fuels go. It's like a big competition to see if we can get it all before it disappears. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, if we had like, you know how the razor and blades model for like shaving, like they sell you the handle and you gotta buy blades that cost more than the handle for the rest of your life, or printer ink is like cost more than the whole printer itself, so like. I heard the army was buying printers like that. They would just like buy whole printers and get the, the cartridge out and just shred the printer because they didn't really need the printer. They just needed the ink cartridge. Yeah. Stuff like that is so wasteful and it has to have a huge impact on the environment and it's just bad for society in general. If I was in charge of stuff, I would make laws. I don't know how you would do it though, but there should be a law outlawing this kind of shit. 
And there should be a law against like price gouging and like raising prices for no reason. There should be a limit on how much things can cost and how many times you can like inflate the currency and just print money. Uh, anyway, with cars though, I was thinking like we spend so much money on insurance. She was talking about like when you have a wreck, or you're hoping you're going to have a wreck so that your insurance actually gives you value. So you're like hoping for something bad to happen. If nothing bad happens, then it's also bad because then you didn't get You just threw money away. Like $1,000, $1,200 a year on insurance and you never had a wreck and you never use it. And it's like, oh, Lord, I spent all this money on nothing. But like when people have door dings, like little tiny dents in your, in your car. It blows my mind that people freak out about that and they sue each other and they go to court battles and stuff over it and they get hundreds of dollars and thousands of dollars to like fix dents and make sure the paint matches the exact color if it doesn't match exactly. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> like the point of the body of the car, it's like an armored, like a knight or a, an armored horse in medieval times. It's to protect the engine and the wiring and the things that are exposed to the elements and getting damaged. The body is supposed to get damaged. If it has a dent in it, great. It did its job. That's what it was supposed to do. It's supposed to look like that. Because it, it seems like cars in magazines and they think, well, my car has to look like the one in the magazine. <laughs> if it's not in perfect condition, it doesn't count or it loses its value and you can't resell it. Why? Why do we think like this? We shouldn't think like this as a society. We should see things for their function and appreciate it. I mean, there's a certain limit to when your car's like beat up so bad it's like just caved in and you want to like, maybe it needs to get a new body or something, but like, that's the whole point. Especially like that bumper. If somebody's mad because you got a ding on the bumper, it's a bumper. It's supposed to bump into shit. That's why they call it a bumper. Why would you give them fucking the bumpers dented? Like, why do we even bother replacing bumpers? Should be glad that it ever gets any use. If it has a dent in it, great, it got some use. What are we, what are we replacing bumpers for? It's like the dumbest thing in the world. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, well, I'm thinking about this idea. I might have to start up. I got a bunch of other ideas for videos I want to make pretty soon. But uh, yeah.